James McSweeney, only two days away from KSW34. Last time we've seen each other, you said you wanted to fight uh, Peter Graham. And, uh, well, you didn't get your wish, but you, I think you, you received a better version. Is it, is it, is it a better version? Well, I asked for the title fight first, straight after the fight. But mm -hmm. um, uh, you asked me who would I think would be a good matchup, and I think me and Peter would have been a good matchup. True. Um, but of course, uh, I'm, I'm not here to fight number three, number four, number five. Or I'm here to be the best, mm -hmm. and uh, I'll prove it on Saturday night. I have a feeling there's, uh, there's, there won't be a you know, high five or handshake before the fight because of the things that have been said. Um, not by me. Uh, I came here to be very respectful. It seems my opponent doesn't have that same quality. Um, he seems to think that he's better than he is. He seems to think that he wants to fight people in the top 10 in the world and number one. And, but he's in the wrong organization. Mm -hmm. The people in the top 10 in the world don't fight for KSW. Mm -hmm. But he seems to think that he's worthy of that. So I think on Saturday he should beat me really easy mm -hmm. because I'm no good, according to him. Yeah. But we'll see. So by saying th those things you said, uh, were you trying to say he's playing safe? He's playing safe? Yeah, because of, you know, he's fighting here, home, uh, like home country, not... Uh, every fight he's had is safe. Mm -hmm. Who's he fought? Who, what, what organizations he fought for? He's fought for KSW, every fight. They've looked after him so well. He's, every fighter that he's had, name one that's got any quality. Peter Graham, <laughs> but not then. Yeah, I'm glad you laughed. Elite, I'm glad yeah. you laughed after, mm -hmm. because how is Peter Graham a top quality? Mm -hmm. Peter Graham was a kickboxer ten years ago, that's making a living for MMA yeah. and getting by. He's a great mm -hmm. guy, but he's not MMA fighter. <laughs> Come on. Mm -hmm. and, he went, and he went three rounds with Peter Graham. You Jesus. See, yeah. <laughs> you see, you seem angry, not as as usual. Call uh, James Max Sweeney. What what happened in the past when you were when you were fighting angry? When I fight angry, usually I smash someone's teeth in. Okay, your your coach said uh, you're still evolving with, as a fighter with uh, so much experience. You're you're still up there. You're you're getting better. Um, thanks to my coach and the people that I have around me, I've, I'm evolving every day. Um, I'm still, in my opinion, growing in the sport. I'm not comfortable. I don't look at any opponent that I have as an easy target. I don't look at anyone. Anyone who signs signs to fight me is never an easy object. I train extremely hard. I learn every single day uh, to try and evolve my game in uh, jiu-jitsu, wrestling, conditioning, mm -hmm. Thai boxing, and not just that, but put the foundations together in mixed martial arts. Mm -hmm. You could have someone who's an, am an amazing kickboxer, but not a great MMA fighter, mm -hmm. or an amazing submission grappler, but sucks at MMA. Mm -hmm. You've got to be able to put the puzzles together complete. And I'm lucky to have some of the best coaches in the world doing that for me and helping me evolve every day. Uh, every fight I go into, I'm more confident and, and more sure. And it doesn't help when you have an opponent that's um, fake. Uh, when he see me, he shake my hand 27,000 times and big smiles and hello and how are you and all nice to me. But then when I go and I see people tag me on social media or any interview, mm -hmm. the guy talks not so, not so nice about me. Mm -hmm. But when he sees me, he's, he wants to be my best friend. But I can tell you on Saturday night, he's going to see the real me. And he said he likes to follow every opponent, like learn everything, absolutely yeah, everything men, about men, him. Men shouldn't follow other men. It's not a very good look for any man to be obsessed with another man. There's women out there. Don't look for a woman. <laughs> so you're n never ever obsessed by your opponent? I don't care what he does. I don't watch. I've never seen him fight. Who I was the last one that made, made you angry like that? Michael McDonald. And I absolutely destroyed him. Mm -hmm. Have you ever tried to count? And he, uh, and he was, at the time, number three in the world in the official K1, the third best striker in the world. Knocked mm -hmm. out Mirko Kokop, the fight before mine. Yeah. Uh, one of the most elite fighters of the world. So, and I knocked him out very badly. Mm -hmm. So I don't see how my worth is so low. Have you ever tried to count uh, all your, the fights you had, not only, M uh, of course, MMA is easy, but you know, including kickboxing and everything you just had professionally? Um, it's hard because uh, it's just been so many. I have to to get with my other coaches. I, it's over uh, close to 200, 200 plus mm -hmm. in total. So he's in big danger. Um, do you know what? I go into every fight. Really, what he's done in his past and what I've done in my past is irrelevant. And and I see this fight is a tough fight. It's not an easy fight. And I said that from the beginning. No opponent that I fight is easy. Uh, I don't take easy fights. I'm here to make a, a, a mark. Mm -hmm. I'm here to take the belt. Uh, I train extremely hard. Um, 
anything can happen in an MMA fight. And if you want to go into the fight and be disrespectful of your opponent and uh, say different things about him and, and this and that and underestimate him, but then that's up to you. But it's a big mistake. The worst thing you can do as a fighter or a KSW world mm -hmm. champion is to uh, believe your own hype. Mm -hmm. That's the worst mistake you can make because you're going to get a rude awakening real fast. And interesting thing, uh, when you said all those things you said, uh, Carl said before that, he said he would like to fight all the best people in the world, but he doesn't like to fight where the best fighters fight. Uh, like he changed his mind. In the past he said he yeah. wants to fight in the UFC, right now he don't want to. Yes, because they, do you know why he doesn't want to? Because they didn't offer him a contract. That's why he didn't want to. Mm -hmm. They didn't offer him a contract, they don't want him because they know that his record is fake, that he hasn't, <laughs> he hasn't fought anyone worthy to be in the UFC. Mm -hmm. He hasn't worked hard enough to get there. To be in the UFC, it's very clear what you have to do. You have to fight with a good record, but also now, it used to be just 10 and 0, but now what they want is you to fight veterans, people that have been around in the sport and clear that you can make it at the top because it's such a competitive avenue, that he hasn't done that. Mm -hmm. so it's okay Will and wishing that I wish I was a multi-billionaire, but mm -hmm. I'm not. So you can make all these wishes all you like, but you have to step out of your comfort zone and, and rather than be a big fish in a very small pond. Yeah. I've fought all over the world 10 times. Mm -hmm. You name a country, I guarantee I've been there and probably fought their champion. Mm -hmm. Be honest, is there at least one fight, single fight that impressed you by him? I haven't seen him fight. I've never watched one course, single fight. Yeah, I couldn't tell you, but if you look at the people that he fought, how could it impress you? Oh, he beat Hollis Gracie. Well, who hasn't? Uh, he beat... <laughs> he, 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 name one. I mean, he, in his last fight, he beat a, a local hero that I'd never even heard of. Yeah. Uh, Peter, he, he went with Peter Graham and took him the distance. I mean, Peter Graham just got absolutely destroyed in Bellator at a very low level fight. I mean, he really hasn't fought that many people. That doesn't mean, for me, it doesn't mean that he can't come out Saturday night and give me the fight of my life. I'm not that silly. Mm -hmm. I realize that anything can happen on Saturday. My job is to make sure it happens my way, and I'm assure you it will only go my way. So finally, is there a big chance this fight will uh, end before time ends? This fight ain't going the distance. Which round? It doesn't matter. Depends how good a shape he's in. But uh, <laughs> I guarantee you, he, he won't be walking out of that cage. And what do you think of his shape? Yeah, uh, by what your uh, coach said? Because you don't watch the fights, obviously, so... Um, what did they told you? I, 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 from what they told me, but I, I, what I just see him on the open workouts, that he's in slow motion. Hmm. Matrix. Okay, fair <laughs> enough. Good luck. Thank you very much, guys. Thank you.